personal business creator? If you've ever asked yourself that question, which profile type should I be, whether for Instagram or TikTok, you're in the right place because I'm breaking down everything in today's video. I'm gonna cover all the different types of profile options you have in front of you for both Instagram and TikTok. And stay tuned until the end where I'm gonna walk you through all the account types that I have been as I've grown my account to over 100,000 followers. And I'm gonna share the account type that I am currently at today. Just as a heads up, I'm covering both Instagram and TikTok account types in this video. So the first half of this video is gonna be all about Instagram and the second half is gonna be about TikTok. Ready? Let's dive in. Starting with Instagram, there are currently three profile types that you have to choose from, personal, business, and creator. And on that note, both the business and creator accounts fall under the professional category. Let's talk about the personal account type for Instagram what you can do with it and what you can't do with it. Now, just like the name suggests, the personal account type is best for personal use. While you can make it work as a business owner, you do sacrifice a lot. Here's what I mean. With a personal account on Instagram, you do get the option to make your account private, which I'm not sure why you'd really wanna do that as a business. And you get access to the entire music library for both your reels and your stories. Now here's a list of what you can't do with a personal account on Instagram. You won't be able to access analytics using Instagram insights. You won't be able to add a contact button or any other call to action button for your profile. You won't be able to create branded content with other businesses, allowing you to cross promote each other. You won't be able to schedule with a tool like Later or Planoly, which are partners of Instagram. You won't be able to use Facebook's Creator Studio to manage your account. And third-party apps like Flick, which is what I use for my hashtag research, won't be able to access your account. So with the personal account on Instagram, you do get music, which is huge, but you're missing out on a whole slew of other features. Your next account type option for Instagram is business. Now, just like the name suggests, it was designed for businesses. Here's what you'll be able to do with the business account on Instagram access analytics using Instagram's built-in insights, add a contact button or any call to action button on your profile, used paid promotion, meaning run ads to your Instagram content, create branded content with other business owners, allowing you to cross promote, schedule and auto publish your posts with an Instagram partner tool like Later or Planoly, use Facebook's Creator Studio to manage your account, Use third-party apps like Flick, which I use for my hashtag research to access and analyze your account. Last but not least, you'll be able to use the swipe up feature in your stories when you either have 10,000 followers or more, or you set up an Instagram shop and you'll be able to allow the swipe up feature on your products. Now, what you won't be able to do with a business account on Instagram is one, make your account private, and two, you won't be able to access the full library of music for your stories or reels. Because of that big limitation for businesses, that brings us to our third account type, which is the creator account. And while this name suggests that it's for creators like artists or bloggers, it's my opinion that the creator account is actually the best type of account for business owners. What? Is that confusing? Because it's not called the business account? Yeah, it is kind of confusing. But just as a side note, I think the creator account, which is the third type that we've received, I think it was designed as a way to help businesses get around the copyright issues that happen with music. That's the reason why businesses don't have access to the music feature. I'm pretty sure if you're designated as a business and you're using Britney Spears' song, that's an infringement of the copyright of the song. So. Hence why we have the creator account. The creator account allows businesses like yourself to create with music, but not infringe upon any copyright issues. With all that said, let's dive into the greatness that is the creator account type on Instagram. This account type is great if you're an influencer, a blogger, you sell and promote products that aren't your own, or you're a business and you wanna have access to the music feature. So here's everything that you can do with a creator account. Access analytics using Instagram's insights, add a contact button or another call to action button on your profile. You'll be able to run ads to your Instagram content. You'll be able to create branded content with other accounts, allowing cross promotion. You'll be able to access the full library of music, both copyright and copyright free for your stories and reels, yay. 
And you'll be able to get the swipe up feature in your stories if you have 10,000 followers or more, or you set up an Instagram shop. Now, if it's not clear by now, this is my favorite type of account for Instagram, but there are a few things that you can't do with a creator account. You won't be able to make your account private, which isn't a big deal because if you're running a business, you want eyeballs on your profile and you won't be able to schedule and auto publish your posts with tools like Later or Planoly. While they are business partners, currently creator accounts are not able to be connected to those tools. So if you enjoy auto publishing, you might not like the creator account, for me, it's not a huge deal because I usually manually publish my posts anyway, so it's fine that I can't use those tools. The other thing you won't be able to do with a creator account is allow API access so that tools like Flick will be able to access your account. If you're convinced and you want to change your account type on Instagram, well, let me show you how to do so. Pull open your account. Here I am on my profile. And while we're here, let's just tap on professional dashboard. Because I'm a creator account, this is something that I get. You also get this with a business account. But to change the account type that I have, hit the hamburger icon in the upper right, then tap settings, and then see where it says account near the bottom. If I scroll down, I can switch account type right here. So I can switch to personal or switch to business. Now keep in mind, if you are currently a business or a creator account and you switch back to personal, you're going to lose things like insights. Now that we've covered Instagram and all of its profile types, let's move on to TikTok. And surprise, surprise, there are three profile types here as well. Personal, business, and creator. Sound familiar? Yep. And just like Instagram, both the business and creator account types on TikTok fall under the professional or pro account type. Now for all account types, when it comes to TikTok, you will be able to set your account to private. So that's something that's different from Instagram. And you will be able to use the TikTok desktop tool to schedule your posts. With that said, let's break down the difference between the personal business and creator accounts for TikTok. With the personal account on TikTok, it's of course great for personal use, but it also works for business. And there are fewer downsides on TikTok compared to the Instagram profile account. With a personal account on TikTok, you will be able to make your profile private if that's important to you. You'll be able to access the full music library. You'll be able to connect your Instagram or your YouTube to your profile on TikTok and you'll be able to add the nonprofit option to your profile. Now, what you won't be able to do with a personal account on TikTok is add a URL to your profile, add the Q&A feature to your profile, access analytics, enable auto replies, and access the business creative hub. With that said, let's cover the business profile on TikTok, which the name implies that it's best for you as a business owner. Here's what you'll be able to do with a business account on TikTok. Make your account private, Add a clickable URL to your bio or profile. Connect both Instagram and YouTube to your profile. Add the nonprofit feature to your profile. Add the Q&A feature to your profile. Access analytics on your profile all the way up to 60 days of data. Enable auto replies. And access the business creative hub where you'll be able to see what's trending and you'll be able to connect with other business accounts. Now, what you won't be able to do with the business profile on TikTok, and this is a biggie, you won't get full access to the music library, including songs and audios. And this is kind of a big deal when it comes to TikTok. You also won't get access to the creator fund, which allows you to get funding to create content. If this is sounding familiar at all, again, with a business account on TikTok, just like on Instagram, you won't get the full library access to music. So we have the creator account option. On TikTok, this account type is best for creators and influencers, but I also believe it's best for business owners. Let's cover all the things you can do with a creator account on TikTok. The big one is you'll get access to a larger library of music and sounds, including both copyrighted music and copyright free music. You'll be able to connect both your Instagram and your YouTube to your profile. You'll be able to add the nonprofit feature to your profile. You'll also be able to add the Q and A feature to your profile, and you'll be able to access analytics. But with a creator account, you're only going to get a maximum of 28 days worth of data. Lastly, as a creator, you will get access to the creator fund where you can apply for funding to create content. For this, you need to have at least 10,000 followers. 
you need to have generated at least 100,000 video views in the last 30 days, and you need to be at least 18 years old. Now, one thing that you might not be able to do with a creator account on TikTok is add a clickable URL to your profile. This depends on when you join TikTok. So me, for example, I'm a creator account and I do have this feature. So if you join TikTok later, you might not have access to it. If you're ready to switch your account type on TikTok, here's how to do it. Go to your profile, hit the three dots in the upper right, and then tap manage account. This is where under account control, I can switch to a personal account or switch to a business account from my current setting, which is a creator account. Now for a little insight into my history, I started on Instagram as a personal profile because back in the day, we were all afraid that once we designated ourselves as a business, that Instagram would limit our reach. That's something that we saw happen on Facebook. So I was a personal profile for a couple of years, but then when Instagram insights came out, I needed that data. So I switched to a business account and nothing drastic happened. I was a business account from about 30,000 followers all the way to over 100,000 followers. That was until this past January when I lost the ability to add music to my stories and my reels. So that's what motivated me to switch to the creator account on Instagram. That's what I'm currently at. And I do notice that I have less data and less insights to look into, at least historically, but it's kind of worth it for me to have the music feature when I create reels or stories. When it comes to TikTok, I basically did the exact same thing. I started off as a personal profile because back then I think that was really the only option. And then when I switched to business, I realized that I didn't have access to the full music library. So again, I switched to the creator account. So that's my current account type on TikTok as well, where I have access to a larger library of music and just less access to my insights. I'm not sure why Instagram and TikTok do this. I mean, creators need insights too, but you know, it's the trade-off. All right, there you have it. By now, I hope you're a lot more clear on which account type to choose for both Instagram and TikTok. Now, while we're here, let's talk about what Instagram and TikTok have in common. The thing is, videos. Short form videos are what both of these apps are getting really good at. TikTok more than Instagram, but Instagram's getting there. So if this is something that you're interested in for your business, meaning short form videos, 10, 15 second videos, I have something for you that I think you're really going to like. It's called Videos Vault. And Videos Vault is one half, a bunch of ideas that I brainstormed for you, specifically 300, so that you can grow your coaching services or product-based business. And its other half is trainings, how-to trainings on how to use both TikTok and Instagram Reels. This vault is a mega resource for you, the business owner, especially if you're ready to embrace short form videos for your business. So if you're curious, I invite you to head to videosvault.co to check it out. And of course, I'll leave the link right below this video. To ease in revenue, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today's training on how to choose the right account type for your business. If you liked it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss any future trainings just like this one.